Welcome to Olympian Water Testing, giving you the best in water analysis. Today we're looking at environmental health, where mercury immune to toxicity in harbor seals links to in vitro. So what's going on here with marine animals, and how does mercury affect them? We know that mercury is a dangerous heavy metal, but what does it specifically do to marine animals and mammals? So mercury is known to bioaccumulate to magnify marine mammals, which is the cause of great concern in terms of their general health. In particular, the immune system is known to be susceptible to long-term mercury exposure. And the aims of the present study were to, one, determine the mercury level in the blood of free-ranging harbor seals from the North Sea, and two, examine the link between methylmercury in vitro exposure and immune functions using seal and human mitogen-stimulated peripheral blood mononuclear cells. T lymphosates. And before we get into this, just understand that mercury is a naturally occurring substance, but due to industrialization and due to runoff and other factors, it does get in the water, it does create methylmercury, and it can have a bad effect on marine animals, which in turn affects humans. So the methods are the total mercury was analyzed in the blood of 22 harbor seals and peripheral blood mononuclear cells were isolated from seals and from humans. Stimulated lyphosates of both species were exposed to functional tests. And under increasing doses of methylmercury, the expression of cytokines were investigated in the lymph sites by RT-PCR and by real-time quantitative PCR at methylmercury concentrations of 0.2 and 1 UM. Finally, Protein analysis was attempted on the human lymphocytes in order to identify biochemical pathways of toxicity at the concentration of one. So what did they find? The results showed that the number of seal lymphocytes viable, metabolic activity, DNA and RNA synthesis were reduced in vitro, suggesting deleterious effects of methylmercury concentrations naturally encountered in free-ranging seals. Similar results were found for human lymphocytes. So you might be thinking, why are we worried about seals? I mean, it is just an effect on them, but it also affects humans quite similarly. And functional tests showed that the concentration was critical, above lyphosate activity, proliferation, and survival were compromised. And the expression was weaker, exposed seal lymphosates compared to control cells, and products showed some variation in the protein expression. The results basically suggest seal that seal and human PBMCs react in a comparable way. So similarly, human and seals have a very similar effect when they are exposed to mercury in vitro. However, largely the interdividual variations, there's always going to be difference with everyone, but MEHG could be an additional cofactor in the immunosuppressive pollutant cocktail generally described in the blood of seals. And therefore, this raises the possibility of additional additive effects in marine animal immune system. They also have the background here, where they talk about mercury, how it is organic and the inorganic forms and the methods they used. But to really break it down, that mercury had a similar effect in vitro to both mammals who live in different types of water bodies, so the seals in particular here, and it's very, very similar to humans. So marine mammals and humans both can have devastating effects, especially in vitro from mercury. That's why it's always a good idea to periodically have water tested to protect both animals and humans from high levels of mercury.